She's best known for her roles on TV shows like Law and Order and Crossing Jordan. But did you know that Jill Hennessy began her career singing and playing guitar on the streets of Toronto, even in the subways? Now she's back to her roots as a musician and is about to release her debut album. Please welcome Jill Hennessy. Jill, great to have you here today. Thank you. You know, many of us have loved watching you in Law and Order, and especially Crossing Jordan. Great show, terrific mystery. <laughs> By the way, you want to check my pulse and see if I'm alive okay, today? Be, oh, he's very much alive. Very much he's alive. Very much alive. Okay. May not be after I play uh, the song with you today, but uh, the, the real history of, of Jill Hennessy is music. Yeah, basically, you're right. And and you actually did play in the subways, like open a guitar case and strum along and. Did you ever make much money doing that? You can actually make some pretty good money <laughs> playing <laughs> on the street and in the subways, especially around the holidays. People get very generous. Yeah. And if you play requests, then uh, you do quite well. So. so would you recommend me going to the New York subways and maybe oh, hanging out? And uh, You know what? I got to say, Governor, you would rake it in. Oh, yeah, right. Yes. I, I, come on, I've heard you play. And, and you still think I would. I think I'd get mugged is what I think. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about your CD because uh, it's available on Amazon now and mm -hmm. it's going to be available in border bookstores. Uh, tell me about it. What's, uh, what am I going to hear when I get the CD? Oh, good question, darling. Um, it's, uh, I, I wrote all the music and lyrics. It's, uh, most of it's very autobiographical or about things that, boy, um, were just sort of hard to deal with. I needed yeah. to use writing as sort of a, an outlet and uh, I guess as sort of a form of therapy. And uh, that's, it became this bizarre album and I ended up recording it in Austin, Texas with some really good friends and it's been a lot of fun. How do you find time <laughs> with all the other acting projects? I mean, you were in the Buddy Holly story on Broadway, which was a uh, phenomenal play, played the part of Buddy Holly's uh, of, of wife. His wife, yeah. And uh, you, you, know, you speak five languages. You're a pretty interesting person. I, thank you. Boy, coming from you, that's a huge compliment, <laughs> Governor. I, boy, um, I guess you just do it. Life is short. And I would hate to think that I, I went through my life being afraid to try everything. Yeah. So I guess that's why I'm standing here right now. With but you're you. shoehorning in this music on top of an acting career. How, how much is music a part of your life? Because with most people, music mm. is a passion. Yeah, I'd say the music is its something I've always done since I was, uh, gosh, since I, I remember... Uh, to say I have any remembrance, to be honest. When I was four years old, I would make up songs with my sister and we'd dance around the kitchen floor and do shows for our parents and stuff. Um, and I never thought I, I could do it as a profession. You know, it was always something I, I just loved and I never judged myself uh, as to whether or not I was professional or wonderful. It was just something that, that I loved. It, it just makes me happy. And you've got a twin sister, right? Yes, I do, identical. Yeah, yeah. and is she musical like you? She actually is. She's a journalist up in Canada yeah. um, and very talented. She's got two little girls. Um, great voice. I'm trying to get her down here to go on tour, possibly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you guys see her, just try to convince her. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, she's got a killer voice. Tell us about the song we're about to do with you. Oh, wow. Okay, this is called Four Small Hands. And uh, my sister kind of inspired this by telling me a story about our mother. And, uh, something that happened when we were four years old and it just got me to thinking about all the things that our parents go through that we're completely unaware of and probably always will be you know all the sacrifices they make and the situations they're in and it sort of became this song i tried to put myself in my mom's shoes for a while so well let's do the song okay <laughs> <You'll have to laughs> see everybody small hands tugging at her skirt she calls him from the payphone and twists the button on her shirt it's closing time already cold begins to hurt she pats their hair and says he's almost there as they bury in her skirt on and lastly in her head that is word so many headlights tail lights go in the dirty gray laid away the snow inside her head she hears a voice start screaming I 
could have been so special I should have gone to school But now I'm trapped at home Wait by the phone Helpless like a child for you Oh, oh no She's gone, six small feet still chase her. Headlights, tail lights go in the dirty gray, late windy snow. Inside her head, she hears a voice start screaming. They gotta close your eyes to keep yourself from screaming.